side, we've got Declan James, who's in with us. And I have to say, Declan, are you, are you actually wearing high heels? <laughs> I'm not, Joey. I know, I know you like to refer to me as the tallest player on the tour, but I'm actually only 6'3", so... No, you're joking me. I'm not. I'm literally, like, 6'3 and a half. Because on your, on, on your stat, it actually says you're 6'5", so are you yeah, putting... Are you no. putting sneaky things in? <laughs> no, so, so, someone's, uh, someone's manufactured that. I think I need to go, go talk to PSA and get that adjusted because it's you know, not quite on the ball. I reckon we need to speak to your manager, but just talking about um, the players coming through, you're one of them. You, you've had an amazing run at the, the beginning of this season. You've had some very, very tough draws, and you're really starting to take it to the, the very top few players in the world. I mean, you were, were very close to taking out Kareem Abdul-Gawad in, uh, in the uh, last 16 yesterday. Yeah, I'm feeling great. You know, a few uh, a few minor changes to things during the summer, a lot of hard work. But, you know, people keep asking me what, what what's changed, you know, why all of a sudden now are the results starting to come? And I keep saying it's not one particular thing. It's years and years of hard work that are starting to pay off. You know, it's not one thing that changes. And overnight you become a great player. It's just uh, it's just a lifetime's dedication to, to the craft. And, uh, you know, the things are starting to fall together in the right place. Uh, just believing in the process and believing that I'm good enough to actually reach that top level. Um, you know, close again yesterday with another top 10 guy. And I'm just you know, trying so hard to get a win against one of these guys, but I'm confident that it's going to come sooner rather than later. Uh, just going back to, to last night, uh, with there was one situation, I don't want to remind you of it, you're obviously going to watch it back, there was a situation when you actually had a review where it was going to be a, cl a clear, clear stroke there going into that. I mean, now that you're playing these guys, these very top guys, you're under that pressure, you, you, you're responding to their level. You've also, it's very difficult as well to kind of switch, switch on the streetwise side of it as well. And, uh, you know, how, how do you feel about that scenario? Yeah, I mean, my heart rate was about 800 at the time. So, you know, it's quite hard to think about everything else. And yeah, I dropped the ball there. I, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't realize that it was 10 all and that we were in the tie break and that my uh, review had been uh, renewed. I, I knew that I lost my review earlier on in the game. And to be quite honest, I just completely forgot. About a minute later, before I was about to serve, it finally hit me like a light switch, like a ha hammer to the head. I realized I've got a review, of course, by then it was too late. Um, you know, I came back strongly in the fourth, but had I gone two on up, that's not to say that Kareem wouldn't have raised his level again. These are the little bits of experience that, uh, that I'm going to gain and, and hopefully I don't, you know, make a mistake like that again. I'm sure Mr. Beachel might have a, a question for you. Being yeah, a, I mean, uh, one thing that interests me after a, after a match like that, and obviously a great result for you, you obviously wake up today, you're a little bit sore, you're reflecting on last night. What what are you taking from last night to to you know to go into the next tournament, the next matches, and hopefully come out a better player? Yeah, a huge amount of confidence, really. Uh, I'm chipping away at these top ten guys. You know, um, I had a bad patch at the end of the third last night where I made four errors, which at that level was pretty unforgivable. But as I say, I came back strongly in the fourth, and then in the fifth, I didn't go up an extra gear mentally where I needed to, and of course, his quality improved. Overall, I have many more positives than negatives to take from last night, and I just feel that. If if I continue to put myself in that position, that uh, sooner rather than later I'm going to, you know, get a win against one of these guys. But you know, overall, I take a lot of confidence from this week. And how sorry you? You are definitely sore after last night. Last it was ridiculous. This morning, I was feeling a bit <laughs> fragile. Um, Kareem sent me on a few return trips into Jeez. the front left corner. <laughs> he did. Um, but I've done a huge amount of recovery work today. I've been in the pool. I've been uh, in, the, uh, in the in the cold pools. I've been doing stretching. I feel good tonight. And and of course, this is what we train for to be able to back these kind of scenarios up. Well, well done, mate. It was a great performance. Thank you. Appreciate it. How do you feel, just quickly, before we throw to the uh, the next uh, quarterfinal, how do you feel about your nickname? I absolutely love my nickname. You know, I, I don't think uh, I don't think it's a secret that I'm a bit of a Batman fan, and uh, I think it's it's it's, coming, it's catching on well. You know, so uh, if people interact with it, then great. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm loving it. Well, good to see you smile. We wish you the best for the rest of the season. Thanks, great to have you in.